Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. We have the Two of Pentacles energy here. Let me get something with the Two of Pentacles here. There could be somebody juggling something. Somebody trying to balance something in their life here. We have the, the Spring Equinox here. So something around March. Something around March 20th or 21st here. Okay, there's something that's going to, you're going to see fruition of something that you're working on. You're going to see, you know, like how the flowers, they start blooming in spring. That's how it's going to be. You're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor sometime in spring. We have the Hierophant energy here, Taurus energy. Hmm, it could be some type of title here. It could be being a part of some type of institution here. Getting some type of title, we have the High Priestess Energy. Hmm. I want to say we got this energy like in the first reading or the second. I can't even remember. But I remember getting the Hierophant and the High Priestess during one of these readings. I think it was today. But there's something here that's of a spiritual nature here. It's being developed. It's something that you're, I don't know if you're ordained to do this or you're titled in some kind of way where this is for you. It also has something to do with sacred knowledge and being in between two worlds here with the two of pentacles here and the high priestess is something like I'm getting a duality here. Okay. And it's something where it has also to do with faith. It has to do with, um, like elevation or having some type of like spiritual title perhaps let me get something here with this two of pentacles energy like i feel like you're going to start seeing the results around march like you're really going to start seeing it you're really going to start seeing it we have the star yep yep it's something that you're here to do is something like you're a messenger of some sort or you're just somebody that you're here to help others heal or you're here to heal something here. It's coming out as a star like you're going to stand out because you're meant to stand out. People are meant to see you. You're meant to heal others here. You see how this the star is watering the earth here. Yeah, that's healing energies. That's what stars do. They give. They give. They give light. They give love. They give healing here. OK, already somebody has the high, the Hierophant, the High Priestess and the star here as if somebody's like a famous spiritualist or something like that. Or you do something of a spiritual nature that helps others and it's something you're developing here. And you're going to start seeing it in March. You have the four of Pentacles energy here. Hmm. It could have something to do with holding on to something or is some type of stability here trying to maintain something getting to a place of power here we have the eight of swords energy here hmm what is this at the bottom we have emperor energy could be talking about an aries uh um how can i say an aquarius here a taurus the eight of swords is somebody that's like stuck in their own way here like i feel like somebody's going to get released from some type of bondage or somebody's going to Hmm. What is this eight of swords about as if somebody is being prevented from doing something or you feel blocked in some kind of way or silenced? It's like you're not going to feel like that. Let me get something here. We have the nine of cups energy. Yeah, someone's going to be released probably from Eight of Swords energy. Maybe somebody's getting released from something binding, something that you feel like you can't release yourself or you feel like something is impossible. 
Somebody is getting released here. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Somebody's going to make a lot of money here. Somebody could be building a, a, a how can I say, an empire, a business. Hmm. This is like beyond what somebody thinks they can do or what they're going to receive here. Like, I really think it's going to be someone leaving old old uh what you call glass ceilings like old levels like feeling like you can't rise above a certain level you're leaving old levels behind old mindsets old belief systems here like somebody's going to be as free as a bird here we have the hierophant energy for the second time here i really do feel like this is someone that helps others I do feel like this is someone that could be part of some type of institution or they could be an educator or someone with a lot of knowledge here, someone that's very wise here, or they have some type of spiritual title here. This is someone that's going to make a lot of money helping people. It's not really about the money. It's really about, I think you're developing something like it's a business, it's a family. And it's going to last. It's going to be something that lasts is what I'm seeing. What you're developing now and what you're going to see the fruition, you're going to start seeing the flowers bloom around March, March 20th into April. Wow, you're going to be released from binding systems like... How can I say this? Like when you're, let's say when you're working a nine to five and like, you know, you have to go to work and like, you know, you probably don't feel like it. That's this kind of energy. Like, okay, I got to go to fucking work. I got to do this or I can't not do something right. Someone is being released from these kind of energies where like, it's that kind of energy where like, you're going to feel like, oh shit, I don't got to do this. And I, I mean, I don't have to do that no more. It's something like that. We have the sun card. Yep. Something that's going to make you extremely happy here. This could have something to do with expression here. Individuality. Okay. It could have something to do with maybe beauty or just shining or being your true self here. You could have some type of talent here. Something that stands out because you got the star and the sun here. Like something you're going to be known for here. You have temperance energy. Somebody's definitely coming out like an earth angel. Like you're about to be elevated. Something that you're working. <laughs> Lord, something that you're working on right now is that you're about to see. You're about to see the fruition or like the beginning of something here. Temperance energy, Sagittarius energy here, earth angel energy. Somebody here is like perfecting something here. They're balancing something. We have the Queen of Swords here. Somebody's very knowledgeable here. They could also be very perceptive or, like I said, be like a teacher or something like that. It's something where information really matters. It's something about complexity also. What's this at the bottom? We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Earth sign and air sign is heavy out here. Earth sign and air sign. Yeah, we don't have that many cups. We only have this, the nine of cups right here, but everything else is like earth sign and air signs here. Let me get something with this nine of cups here. It's like someone is meant to shine here. All you have to do is do the work. You got to do the work here. You got to put the work in. Was that the three of swords here? Look at the three of swords here. Now, whoever this is, okay, whatever this kind of energy is with this three of sword, it's right here next to this eight of sword. And I'm getting a feeling that whoever this is that has you trapped, they're the they're going to be the same ones that's feeling a certain type of way when you're blessed with this nine of cups here. It's like they're going to have to set a star free or something like that. And we have the ace of sword here. This is clarity here. There could be some type of truth that is revealed. Like somebody, and I just saw a glimpse of the devil card. Somebody is really trying to keep you locked in a certain place or something like that. Look, we got the full card right on top of the Ten of Pentacles. This shit is not going to work. Somebody really thinks they can control the destiny of like God's children. This is silly. 
Look, you got to make sure, look, you got the star card. I was about to say, you got the star and the ace of cups. You got to make sure you do the work. You got to make sure you do the work because you're a chosen one. Chosen ones are chosen to work. They're not just chosen to sit and do nothing. I'm just saying, okay? You're, it's not just, oh, you're chosen and you're not doing anything. You have to be doing something that's healing, something for the world, something for humanity. This is Aquarius card right here. You see how he's giving back to the land? It ha and then what the Ace of Cups right here is something that you have you're meant to give, okay? If you're doing that, I'm talking to you. It's something that you're building that you're meant to give. You're meant to give it. The star is out here twice. Someone is a chosen one or someone is an Aquarius. Someone could be going into the media or something like that. It's something where you're not about to be bound to anything no more. Your limits are about to be expanded here. You have the nine of wands energy. Yeah, someone does have to think about protecting your energy. Once you get into whatever resources or it's something here where you do not know how big this is going to be. You have no idea how big something is going to be. You have no idea. Let me get something with this Hierophant card. We have the Queen of Cups here. It could be something, maybe you're artistic. Maybe it's something about your heart or how you share your emotions, how you share your soul. It's something about your soul here that you're, you're giving it straight from the core here, straight love. It's something that you're building. You're building it out of love here. You have the Eight of Wands energy. Something's going to move very fast here. Somebody could be traveling. Okay. It could be that you have a, a strong power over emotion. You have a strong power to touch people maybe. Like with your heart or with your words, with your emotions, with your creativity. Yeah, it's something here about these cups now. Hmm. We have the king of pentacles here right on top of the sun card. Once again, an earth sign. Once again, an earth sign here. This is exactly what you're meant to do. And we have the death card. Got Scorpio energy here. Yeah, somebody's money is going to transform like on the highest level. Somebody's literally not going to be the same person. They're not going to look the same. They're not going to carry themselves the same. They're not going to be the same here. This is a really, really extreme transformation here into beauty, into who you really are, into individuality, into not being stressed and happiness. It's something freaking beautiful for somebody out here that's like really doing the work and they're a divine messenger for real from <laughs> from above. They're a divine messenger for real and they're building something here that's going to help people and that's going to unlock them from whatever. I don't know what type of system or what mental like somebody has to get out of this mental prison and whatever this is you're building, you're going to start seeing the results of it in the spring. And whoever this is, like I said, trying to keep you, let's say, uh, how can I say, caved in or something like that, that's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. Temperance energy, and you have the Eight of Cups on top of that. Somebody's choosing themselves. They're going for like a higher love here. Something that's a lot deeper here. Something that's more meaningful. And someone's going to be a boss of it. Oh, we have the Five of Swords. Every time I see a sword here... There's somebody that's going to feel a certain type of way about you walking away. <sighs> somebody could be like a critic or somebody's just talking shit about you walking away and getting on your path here. You transforming. You got to keep building here. You got to keep building here. Look, you got the eight of pentacles here. You've got to keep building. It could be somebody critiquing your work or somebody that's going to be, you know, you're going to have critiques. You're going to have people that talk shit. You're going to have all of that. You already know. OK, but it doesn't matter what they say. And I really think this is someone this is the person that's trying to keep you stuck in something or they're trying to keep you like under some type of glass ceiling or it could even be a spell. But, you know, I'm not going to go that far because I haven't gotten any indications of spell work or anything like that. But I do feel the energy of somebody that's trying to keep you in a system. They're trying to keep you from like getting out or something like that or breaking free. And you're going to, you're going to, because you're here on a mission here. Well, we got two cards. Oh, we got three cards. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and a Nine of Swords. I told you. 
is something about your power, your willpower. It's something even about the the God in you, okay? With this Ace of Wands here, they're not going to be able to stop you. They're just going to worry more and more and more that they can't keep the swords around you. They can't keep you. They could even be like saying something about you that's not true and you're breaking out of it. It's something where they don't want you to break free out of something. Because if you break free out of something, then it's like going to imprison them. It's something like that here. Let me get something with this Eight of Cups energy here. And we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's something that's not, they're not getting the results that they want. They're not seeing the results that they want. And you have Justice here. Yep, right on top of the Queen of Pentacles. That's what has this person in this energy because they can't, they can't keep you like this so they're feeling like this. Do you see what I'm saying? They're feeling like nine of sword because they can't keep you in the eight of sword. They can't keep you trapped in something. And it's because you're getting justice here. This is falling right on top of Queen of Pentacles. You could be an earth sign here, a water sign, or I'm getting a air sign also with justice here. Libra energy. Somebody here is getting justice. You're getting justice. There's somebody that they don't understand spiritual titles here. They don't understand that they cannot stop the divine. They cannot stop the divine here. They cannot stop somebody that's here on a mission. But they do try. They do lie. They do con. They do scheme. They do steal. They do copy. They do a lot of different things to try to keep you stuck. And it's not going to work. There's something here you need to keep working towards. It don't fall into their illusion thinking that something is not uh something's not accumulating something's not building that's a lie it went two of pentacles and it says spring equinox here and that's spring that's the awakening that's when you start seeing the fruits of your labor here five of pentacles yep that's where somebody wants you to be and this is touching the eight of the eight of swords here somebody wants you to feel like you cannot get out but you see that key right there in the corner you're about to you're about to get the key and you're about to open that door to financial freedom. That's what that is right there. That's what that key is to financial freedom for working your ass off here with this two of pentacles juggling, juggling probably a lot of priorities here. You have the moon card. Yeah, this is this is something spiritual here. Someone could feel spiritually depleted or something like that. Someone could have fears. OK, someone is definitely seeing something about the shadow here or they're realizing something about the shadow. Maybe somebody's realizing how strong their shadow is because you got to pick your head up and you got to get that key and you got to open that door. If you don't get that key and open the door, it's not going to happen. And you have to know that. You can't be scared of what has not happened yet. You can't be scared of the illusions. You can't be scared when you can't see the way forward. Look, judgment, you're being released here. So you can't see why you're going through this. What's this at the bottom here? And you have the lovers here, Gemini energy. It's like somebody could even be preparing for a partnership. They could be preparing for union. You couldn't even see why you was going through this. There's a reason why. This is even 12th house energy right here with the moon card and five of pentacles. That's like, damn, why am I broke? I'm doing everything, everything, everything. Why am I broke? You're being released. See what you didn't know. I am now picking up on spell work and I got a confirmation on my phone. What you didn't know, this, this was this person's plan to have you in this forever. They plan to have you in this forever and they're not able to do that. You're being released. You're answering the call. This person thought you were in their prison. No, you were in a system that you were preparing for. Basically, it's like basically the whole time you were working incognito. This person thought they had you imprisoned. But no, it was the divine that was holding you in one spot. That's what this person does not know. It was the divine holding you in this spot. This person thought they was doing something. They thought you would be stuck in some type of situation. They thought that they could, let's say, even paint pictures of you. They they thought a lot of things here. OK, but you're being released here. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is here. Your problems came from the divine because the divine was preparing you. That's really what was going on. Your ancestors were preparing you. To grab that damn key and to open that damn door. That's all that was going on. 
and this person really thought they was doing something here and that's exactly why they're looking like this and you're going into union here you're getting justice it's even something if you are in a relationship they're not going to be able to mess with that at all look let me get something here or something about the people something about uniting with the people or being there for the people look power and intention and that's this what i was talking about with this queen of wands energy i mean i'm sorry queen of pentacles energy with the ace of wands power and intention here there's something here that must be created it must be created and this is above their head look trust the universe that's god right there this is above their head they thought they were doing something they were never doing anything this was all god working in your favor and sometimes you got to struggle Sometimes you got to struggle so you can learn certain lessons, so you can learn who's there for you, so you can learn who's real, who really loves you, all that good stuff. But I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your like, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.